With Visual Builder being available for Magento 2 open source, creating and maintaining sliders is easier than ever. So the goal of this video is to demonstrate how to create a basic images slider in the homepage using the default page builder of Magento. In order to edit the content of the homepage, in admins panel we need to go to content. Pages. In the pages table we will select and edit the homepage. Open the content tab. And edit with page builder. Whatever content we insert here will be visible in the front end inside the HTML main tag. By default, the main part of the page is contained, and it has a max width of 1280 pixels. The demo I showed at the beginning of the video had a full width slider, so in order to achieve that design, I first need to make the main content full width. Let's go back to admins panel and see how that's done. Let's close the visual builder editor I opened earlier. And let's open the design tab. Here, by default, the layout of the page is one column. Let's change the layout to page full width. And let's hit the save button. In order to see what has changed in the front end, first we need to flush the Magento cache. Let's go ahead and do that. In the admins menu we go to system. Cache management. And here we're gonna click the flush Magento cache button. After the process is done, let's visit the front end. As expected, main content is not contained. Now that we solved the width part, we need to revisit the admins panel to create the slider. I will go again to edit the content of homepage. Here I am removing the text of content heading. And let's edit again using Page Builder. I will also remove the default text message. The slider content type is inside the Media tab. I will drag the slider and drop it inside the row on the main content. And an editable slider will appear. The first change I will make to the slide is to make its minimum height 500 pixels. I will also insert a background image of my choice. And let's save the first slide. I'm now going to add two more slides and make the same configurations as the first one. After all this is done, I will close the editor and save the page. Now it's time to revisit the storefront and see the new slide. This is how you create a basic images slider in Magento 2. My work with this slider however is not yet finished. For the next video I have planned to style the slider dots. Even though this looks like a simple task, we need to discuss some other points before we start writing our first CSS. In the upcoming video I will explain how to extend the styles of Luma theme by using the best practices. And I will also talk a bit about the mobile first approach. I will end this video here. Thanks for watching.